Hi, I'm Garrett Atkins with Weld Revolution. Today I'm excited to show you how we're using our MA400 torch to do clad overlay downhill with alloy 625 wire on carbon steel. Some of the reasons we're so excited to use the spin arc process for clad overlay is that we can achieve extremely low dilution levels while also maintaining productivity that's equivalent to sub arc. We are commonly achieving 12 to 15 pounds an hour. Before I start welding, I want to go over my welding setup with you. We have our MA400 torch. In this case, we have some modifications. We've fabricated a gas lens, which goes over a standard nozzle. We have the mounting system that goes to our bug-o tractor. And then within the torch itself, we're going to be using a setting, a spin setting of number eight, which is our largest diameter spin setting. The wire rotational speed will be 1,300 RPM. I'm going to have this in remote mode. And what that means is that the bug-o, when it's switched on, will trigger both the spin and the welding arc at the same time. I'm going to also weld with counterclockwise rotation. If we look at the bottom, we can see that the control cable itself is already plugged in between the welding cable and the box. We have the connection for this auxiliary trigger, also called remote. And we have a spin delay setting. In this procedure, I want a very small delay between when the arc is triggered and the spin starts. This potentiometer allows me to do that anywhere from zero to five seconds. In this case, I have it set at approximately one second. The welding program we're going to be using today is Miller Acupulse program for stainless steel using an arc adjust setting of 47, wire feed speed of 675 inches a minute of 035 wire. The arc control setting we're going to be using today is 48. This is at the high end. The range for arc control is from 0 to 50. This high setting is going to give us a tight but long arc that will help us control the weld puddle. This high speed video of the overlay welding arc was shot at 1000 frames per second and has been slowed down an additional 50%. The video was taken from the leading edge of the weld puddle. From this vantage point, the spinning action and droplet transfer can be clearly seen. The wire is spinning at 1300 RPM and in this video we observe 6 to 7 pulses per revolution. A 9 16 inch wide bead, or about 15 millimeters, is required per the procedure we're following. Now that's a little bit too wide to make with spin arc alone using 035 wire. So we're going to be using the weaving module on the bug -O. In this case, we're going to be running downhill at 16 inches a minute. We're running the weave at its maximum speed and we're running a weave width of approximately one quarter inch, about six millimeters. Now it's time to make a weld. I'm going to be covering approximately 18 inches on this plate that's clamped to this red rock table. First thing I need to do is turn on my supplemental gas and let it purge for a couple seconds. Start my weave and pull down my hood, start the arc. Uh... 